Jack uh, hangs at the side. He is encouraging her. that uh, amongst the things he has done uh, have been a lot of facile work uh, and uh, not only is he an artist but he's also a commercial man and a con man so um, uh, that should be borne in uh, mind. Um, I, I think uh, romantic uh, types of people whether male or female can be um, very susceptible to kind men. At any rate um, I, Cal uh, Hoxley uh, is not uh, of a high opinion of Picasso, so we are supposed to uh, draw negative uh, inferences about him. Um, but he's got plenty of loot, so uh, that's the main deal. Uh, we also, about this time, get a cut to um, uh, goings on a couple of hundred yards, perhaps, from the uh, Titanic. Uh, this is a card game going on uh, in the um, working class section. Uh, we see uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, playing Jack. Uh, he has an Italian friend, associate, and they're playing uh, cards against two Swedes, apparently. Uh, they have uh, money and loot and uh, tickets uh, to America on the uh, table. Uh, it's high stakes here. Uh, Jack uh, has said we got nothing to lose. Um, and uh, full house beats two of a kind. So uh, he tells his pals, we're going to America. Somebody told him, you better, better get there very quick because the ship's getting ready to leave. They race over the, to the uh, ship, manage to get on board, and uh, they get over to their um, third class cabin. Uh, they're sharing uh, with some other men. Uh, Jack goes in, very friendly, enthusiastic, uh, gives all the men a good uh, uh, handshake and um, so forth. Uh, they say to each other, where's Finn? But uh, at any rate, um, they're on board and they made it. Thereafter, uh, character Kate um, uh, Winslet uh, Rose, um, she is um, uh, uh, unhappy with this marriage. Uh, she is kind of keeping her cool, but she feels that she is being asked to walk uh, into uh, the down the aisle into a kind of a living death, um, a contract for life uh, in which she'll be asked uh, not to uh, be a partner uh, in a marriage of love, but to be a kind of pet, uh, something uh, also uh, on the shelf to be looked at, uh, something pretty, um, something uh, well um, executed in the way of schooling and so forth. Um, it does not uh, please her, this, this idea at all. In fact, she's quite depressed about it. After her lunch, uh, she breaks, uh, goes off to the um, a bow of the ship, toward the bow, and uh, looks forward into the expanse of the ocean pensively. Down below, uh, Jack and some of his uh, rowdy boys are uh, down there uh, uh, yucking it up. Uh, Jack sees Rose and uh, he stares at her. She notices him and gives him a little shake, you know, of disapproval. What do you mean? And uh, he uh, does not break his, uh, <laughs> his uh, stare. So um, shortly thereafter, um, uh, Cal approaches and uh, retrieves his bride to be. Um, uh, Jack has been advised by one of the Irish lads that uh, he's wasting his time with such a woman, but uh, Jack apparently to himself has made the answer that uh, uh, he will have this rose, he will pluck this rose, and indeed he does. Now, um, the uh, movie follows uh, the um, rose uh, character a little bit. We see her that evening uh, in a uh, dinner um, they are gathered with some of the officers of the ship, including a Mr. Andrews, who uh, designed um, the, the ship, and the uh, PR man, uh, Molly Brown, who is uh, perhaps the best treated of the uh, rich. Interestingly enough, she uh, just came up from the third class, uh, 
by means of a gold mine discovered by her husband. Um, but at any rate, uh, they're all gathered and um, talking about the ship and so forth. Um, we see uh, Rose, uh, she is uh, taking a certain attitude. She does appear to be a little spoiled uh, and um, willful. Uh, she uh, makes comments about uh, the ship, uh, uh, drawing um, uh, reference to uh, Freud uh, and uh, uh, phallic symbolism and so forth. Of course, Sigmund Freud is uh, another fellow um, uh, well associated, I think, with Kahneman. At any rate, uh, uh, she is a thoroughly modern woman for this time, and uh, Sigmund Freud is all the talk uh, in his ideas. So um, she also lights up a cigarette to blow smoke at her mother, uh, which is certainly a rude and rebellious uh, act, I think. So um, there is uh, further estimates of uh, indications that uh, evidence that she is uh, um, not well suited by personality uh, for this crowd. Um, how uh, Carol uh, Hoxley uh, removes the uh, cigarette and orders for uh, her, which is uh, standard practice uh, for this time and for quite a time thereafter. Uh, Molly uh, does make a, a kind of a cutting remark about are uh, you going to cut her meat too, uh, treating her like a child. But basically, she's acting like a child, uh, petulant uh, and almost throwing a tantrum. Uh, well, we understand she's unhappy with this situation. In fact, she's so unhappy that we follow her after this, racing to the bow of the ship. She races past uh, Jack, who is on his back on a bench, staring up at the stars of the heaven in the Milky Way and smoking a cigarette, pondering uh, the um, day. Um, he notices her, but she doesn't notice him. Uh, she goes to the bow, gets on the other side of the railing, and hangs perilously uh, looking down at the uh, ocean below, churning white water uh, from the propellers and so forth. Jack, meanwhile, has uh, gotten closer and he says, hey, you don't want to do that. Uh, she says, don't come another step closer. He says, uh, well, he indicates he's going to flip his cigarette. So he goes over, gives her a little leeway and uh, sends it out into the ocean. Then he starts uh, taking off his coat and stuff, and she says, what are you doing? And he says, well, um, if you're going to jump, I'm going to have to jump too. So um, by this kind of conversation, um, he has made the judgment that she doesn't really want to jump, and uh, she has probably had in her mind planted that he is a kind of a knight in shining armor who's there to save her. And um, However, that's not uh, uh, spelled out so much, but uh, you get the idea that maybe that's going in her mind because she is a romantic woman. Um, there is um, uh, a little bit more conversation, uh, and finally he uh, offers his hand, and she takes his hand, kind of a symbolic gesture here, and um, he is bringing her forward, and she slips and falls down. He keeps his grip and, um, to make a long story short, saves her. They, come, they sprawl on the deck uh, just as uh, her screams have brought two of the uh, ship's crewmen there. They see her down on the ground on the, on the deck, uh, her uh, red dress uh, split apart a little bit, her leg, shapely leg showing and whatnot, and here's this rough on top of her. Get off at once, stand over there and so forth like this. They're getting ready to uh, arrest him, if not pound him. About this time, uh, uh, Kyle Hoxley shows up with his man, uh, Mr. Lovejoy. Now, uh, Mr. Lovejoy is one of these people, very ill-named. He's the sort of person who would track down uh, Jack for 20 years for stealing a kiss from Rose. So, um, also the sergeant at arms is there and whatnot. They're thinking about arresting Jack. Uh, Rose uh, says, no, no, he tried to save my life, you know, and don't. Uh. So, everything is smoothed over, and... Uh, Cal offers to give him 20 bucks. Uh, now Rose uh, says, is this all that you value me at? $20? Man, save my life. And so he uh, then says, well, Jack, why don't you come in and have dinner with us uh, uh, tomorrow in the evening? Jack accepts, uh, and so it uh, ends uh, favorably. Although uh, after they have gone, uh, one of the uh, crewmen um, uh, mentions to him that uh, uh, it's kind of interesting that he had time to take off his shoes and so forth to save her. Uh, skipping ahead now, 
The next day, we see uh, Rose and uh, Jack uh, promenading on the deck. Uh, she finds out that he's a painter, and she sees his work, is impressed with it, sees the naked women, is particularly uh, in interested and curious about this. Uh, and so uh, she is uh, bonded a little bit uh, with uh, Jack uh, on this. Uh, it's a kindred spirit kind of deal. Yet, uh, I think it's fair to say that Jack is a calculating uh, fellow. Mother disapproves of the whole thing, disapproves of Jack. Now, Jack has already told her that uh, she has got to get away from these people. If she doesn't, they're, they're going to kill her. That uh, Maybe not even a day or a week and so forth, but her, her soul or spirit will die. And somewhere along the line, uh, uh, they, they fall in love. It's well accepted by the posh crowd, the swells. Uh, like he's just one of them, and um, so uh, he sits down and uh, actually uh, holds his own quite well at the uh, table. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, wealthy people around, Astors and Oppenheimers and so forth. He um, uh, leaves a little note uh, in the hand of uh, Rose. He takes her, he says, I'm going to take you to a real party. So he takes her down to a party going on in the third uh, um, class section, the bowels of the ship. And we see a lot of um, drinking of beer, dark ale, dancing music, uh, jigs and reels and so forth, high-stepping. She has a great time, and uh, so does Jack. And um, However, they are spied, I think, by Lovejoy. The word gets back uh, to Cal. The next day, he, uh, at breakfast, uh, gives her a good smack upside the head, uh, saying, you will not... Uh, uh, do anything this disrespectful. You will show respect for me. And so later in that day, he uh, actually goes to her um, um, and uh, he, he says, Rose, open yourself up to me, uh, open your heart to me, and so forth. He gets out this huge diamond, this blue diamond, the uh, uh, La Cour de Mer, uh, on a fine necklace. He puts it around her and, uh, hey, this is a gesture. Unfortunately, uh, she has been. Um, uh, stung in the heart by Jack Dawson, uh, so um, uh, she cannot be turned by this uh, heart of the ocean. They meet, uh, and um, apparently she has solicited a painting from Jack of her. Jack apparently thinks it's going to be a portrait, a uh, standard kind of deal, but uh, when they get into a uh, uh, an apartment, a cabin suite, um, uh, she disrobes completely, uh, saying that she wanted to be uh, drawn uh, after the, uh, like the uh, French girls um, in his drawings. Our location is invaded by two crewmen uh, on the look for him. Uh, they start a race. They get in the car, and in the car they make love. After the uh, spin and the split, they have to get out of there because here come the um, uh, two crewmen. Uh, it's kind of a liberating uh, deal in the way. Top side. However, uh, they are there just about the time that Titanic hits the iceberg. And Jack says, this is bad. They um, start getting the lifeboats down, and from here on, the uh, movie is largely about the uh, putting down of the lifeboats and the uh, attempts to save people. Now, Jack has been framed. Now, Rose finds out there's a lot of nick and time, daring do it. Uh, it all ends up with the uh, two at the uh, rear of the ship, uh, as it uh, goes down. She uh, releases her grip on Jack, who uh, we see sinking into the uh, waters of the um, North Atlantic. She removes the whistle and blows with the all her might uh, and tries again. She is heard and she is saved. There's an interesting epilogue to this particular story. Uh, the old lady uh, scampering along the deck. She releases the uh, uh, diamond into the North Atlantic uh, and it vanishes in the dark water, uh, the heart of the ocean joining a heart which she had lost uh, once long ago.